hope everybody is doing great. We have a little ooh ooh tamu here for you. We got a bag. I'll get into how we got it and why we got it. And as you can see, it is the day we do EDC stuff. And I figured I'd do a review of this and I'll get into a reason why I didn't purchase it personally. But I am going to use it personally and I'll get into it why and everything. But before that, make sure you do that because it does really, really help the channel. And we do so appreciate it. And also, if you could really help us out and hit that subscribe so we can hit that thousand. We're close. We're close, people. If you could do that, I really appreciate that. I appreciate all the people who have done so. All of you that will, hopefully today. I do appreciate you guys as well. Thank you so much for doing that. Now, it's kind of a EDC slash back to school because it's a backpack. I'll get into a reason why we have it and I'll get into the style of EDC bag if you don't want to pay a lot for it. It was under $10 and we'll get into that in a minute. It just came in a plastic bag and in, like I said, it was on good old Tatamu over there or Uu Tamu as we learned how to say from the Super Bowl commercial. But my wife does some stuff with school, a little bit of PTA type of stuff. And sometimes she has to bring stuff with her. She was looking for something with a lot of pockets to bring there. She didn't care for it once it came. Now, don't go and think you're gonna go to Tamu and do this, but for some reason, I have returned stuff to Tamu. You can return stuff. I had to send it back and then they eventually gave me my money back. I guess because of the price of it, they didn't really care. So they told her, we'll give you back your money. Just keep it whatever. It's not worth sending it back. So that's why we still have it. That's why I'm using it. Since she doesn't want to use it, she wanted to purchase something else. I said, fine, I'll find a use for it. And I will find a use for it because I'm always changing. I had a backpack rip the other day. And I kind of was like, gonna sew it, but then I was like, forget it, I'll just throw it out. And now for EDC reasons, you can use that uh, kind of a gray man type of deal to carry your stuff around. Now, it doesn't have all the magnificent compartments. It does have a lot of, um, what you call it, compartments, but is this missing one thing if you're into EDC? I know I personally love it when a bag or a what you call let me just tilt the camera up a little tad bit there i like it when bags have the little admin pouch this one does not have it that's my only gripe it's a sports bag though so you do have a sport bag and you can hey it's kind of a gray man edc or a bag to bring to the gym and uh wherever you go it's sports wherever you go it's got the nice black but it does have the highly visible orange little um fluorescent zipper poles with the little black on it and i do have to say i really really like that aspect of it you do have padding on here which is nice breathable padding as you can see right there you have padding on your shoulder straps you're not going to be able to strap anything to it per se i don't well it does have this here so if you have something that has the detachable thing you could probably attach a kind of a knife case if you will or a cell phone case or one of those little pouches you could attach to it there it does have on top the little eye hook to hold it you know when we get up and then it does have a handle and the handle these straps they're very well padded i like it I think it's good. I've tried it on. It fits perfectly. I'm happy with it. I'll use it for gym or whatever. But it does have a handle right here. Or I could even use it for EDC. Like I said, a kind of a gray man thing. If you're running around with this, I would say put little mod module compartments in it. Being that it doesn't have the admin pouch. But it definitely has plenty of pouches and some other stuff on the side we'll get to in a minute. But this is a nice handle. It's very padded. So if you just wanted to carry it like that and not put it over your back or your shoulders, um, definitely you can do that. So like I said, the black is cool with the little orange. It kind of pops. And if you're looking for the zippers, they're there. But um, you do have a side little water bottle pocket. I have a 
water bottle over here, kind of a, um, you know, one of these uh, sparkling water things. And it does fit quite, this is quite a large bottle. It's not a little tiny bottle. It does fit it perfectly well, as you can see right there. And in case you wanted to carry another one and even your shoulders out or your back out, you got another one. It does have the mesh see-through over here with the bottom. There's no drain holes on the bottom, so you're not gonna go to that extent of it. But the zippers, they pull really nice. I mean, it's really, I like the quality on it. I can't lie. It's not, you know, like, uh, um, I have some Oakley book bags. It's not an Oakley book bag. It's not that top quality, but the quality is pretty good. You have a compartment over here that has a nice nylon in here. You could put something in there if you didn't want it to get scraped or whatever. It definitely would work here. I don't know about the waterproofness of this, so I wouldn't say you can go out and run a marathon in the rain or anything with it, but you have that little compartment right there. And it's pretty deep, as you can see. You can fit a lot in there. So definitely, you could do something like that. And like I said, if you, you're doing it for EDC, I would say module. Now this pocket goes all the heck way down there. As you can see, my hand's way, way down there. And the zipper, just as good as that other one. And it still has the nylon. It has the stitching with the little extra material over it to keep it from fraying, which is really nice. I like, there's a lot of good to this bag and a lot of not so good, but <laughs> there's a lot of good to this bag. And as you can see, another compartment. So you have this one that goes way down. Then you have another compartment now, this is not going to hold your laptop, people, but it can hold all your other stuff. Nylon right here, like, the kids are going to go to school. You could throw some books in here. You don't want to break the bank on a bag. So you just buy them something like this. It lasts for the year. They're going to want a different bag next year anyway, so you're good to go. But as you can see, another huge compartment. And that's not all. There's more. Um, you have that compartment, and then you have the main compartment, the biggest compartment. Although all the other compartments, except for the very first one, goes all the way down and is quite big as well. But, um, it's not a complete clamshell opening, but it does have a pretty decent opening in the padding right here. Like I said, this is a nylon. It does have padding here, but I wouldn't go throwing your laptop in here unless and as you can see where it's made it's not made you know but um i'm not gonna throw a laptop in here unless you have a sleeve now there's not a lot of protection here but there is plenty of protection on the padding as you can see you could fit a damn good decent amount now if you're gonna use it as a edc bag like i said it's a gray man type of edc definitely get some pouches a little module pouches to put in it it's not going to break the bank. It's something you can throw in the back of your car. If you're going to the gym, throw some stuff in there. You throw it in the back of the car, the trunk, the back of your SUV, whichever. It is good to go. It's, like I said, it's not going to break the bank. But it's not some top quality type bag. It will serve its purpose. I'm pretty sure you can put some stuff in there, have it for quite a while in there. And like I said, you're not breaking the bank, like I said. And it's, it's not going to cost a fortune. It's not going to break the bank. You're going to be good to go. It's nylon. It feels pretty decent. I don't know about the waterproofness of it. I didn't check that out. Like I said, it wasn't something I went out and purchased and said I'm going to get it. But I definitely, definitely will repurpose this. And she's not going to use it. I will definitely repurpose it. Like I said, either a gray man bag, maybe I have, you know how we have different bags for different things, maybe a tool bag for the car or something like that. A little something like that. Not, you know, like I said, I have Oakley bags and all like that. This is a really cool, decent bag. If you want to see the Oakley bags, let me know. I could show you that as well. Because I do have a really cool Oakley bag that I like a lot. That one I use for everything. But, um... 
<laughs> especially when you know you're going to amusement parks and stuff like that that's a really nice one to have on your back so there you have it people a nice you know reasonably priced bag if you want that different genre or different price range you can get it there it's not gonna it i'm not gonna say it's gonna last a thousand years but it should last a pretty decent long time it's well constructed it's not like flimsy and falling apart it's well constructed so there you have it people a little different type of edc slash back to school and like always people have a great great day